Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I am junk journaling. This is part two of my nature junk journal. And today I will show you how I covered the spine and how I've been working on the pages. I cut a piece of my material to cover the reinforcement for the spine. And I'm just going to glue that now on top of that. And I don't want to take away too much of my design, so I'm trying to stop right at that crease there on both sides. I gave just a little bit of extra so I could run my thumb through these little cracks to give the cover a little bit of play. And I went over a little bit on the top and the bottom. But you can either trim that or just leave it hanging out. And again I picked this because of the green and the flannel on the little girl's shirt. Uh, this time I'm going to try some of my tacky glue. Lining this up with the crease. I can feel it with my fingers. I want to get a little material in that space I left. So the book opens and closes nicely. Press this down. Material will absorb that glue. Want to get some in this space on this side. Make sure it bends. I'm going to do the same thing to the inside. If I can get my glue out. a mess. I now have glue all over my table, all over my fingers. You know there's some in there. Come out, come out. There it is. Okay, I want this material to go down just to overlap that cardboard. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. I want it Move it down just a little bit there.
Okay, let's see if I get this lined up. Now the inside piece is bigger than the outside piece because it's going over those supports. And you can feel them right there. It's the crease. And that's the support. Okay, now we're going to let that dry. So there's three signatures in this one, and I don't think I can make any more than that. And in each signature, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, Okay, I have five sheets in each signature. So I need to divide this into three parts. for that one. Possum. Okay, so this is going to be first one. And what I have to do is look for some pictures and papers that go with woodland, seeds, beach, desert. That might be hard. More woodland. And then this one we can do some winter and spring. And sea creatures, rivers, insects, woodland creatures, fish, frogs, butterflies, and babies. After I put my cover aside to dry, I worked on the book pages and off camera I took a little piece of the mailing envelope and reinforced the fold on all the original pages to make it a little stronger when I sew the signatures onto the spine. And the other thing that I learned when I did my first little golden book junk journal 
was that these original pages don't hold up very well to a lot of stitching and adding on heavy elements. And you can see over here, I put a little piece of tape over where some stitching was done there. So I think when I make, see so look at all the heavy elements I add on. So I've got pockets and sewing and cloth and just do a lot of adding on. And over here I had to put a piece of tape. I was afraid it was going to fall apart. So my plan for this one is to not to do a lot of altering of the original book pages. Maybe a little bit, but not a lot. Like maybe I'll put something on this page. So I'm going to go easy on the alterations. And I've reinforced the fold. So hopefully this will hold together much better than the first one. So now comes the fun part. I'm going to go all around through my stash and look for papers and pockets and cardboards and photos and mementos and everything that I can use in my journal. Because I do my journals a little differently. I don't make a journal and then add to it. I put in all the elements and then I put it together. So every photo every memento, everything that's been written, is stuff I already had on hand and I just went around and gathered it up and put it in the journal. Then I sewed the signatures into the journal. So once I got to the part where I was sewing the signatures, the journal was complete. And that's how I'm gonna do my nature journal too. So part three will be my process of gathering up different elements and putting the pages all together. And I'll be sewing and gluing and making pockets and adding mementos and I'll be looking for a bunch of photos. And as each signature is complete, then I will sew it in here. So stay tuned for part three. Thanks for junk journaling with Possum Patty. Bye bye.